Hello? Ahu. 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 Yow, yow, yow. Okay. So I decided. Oh, hold on. Um. Should pick up the game any second now. Ah, uh, yes. So, um... Actually, this might be one of those funny games that take up all of the... all the heckin' resources. Yeah. Yeah, we beating me up. As soon as- as soon as- I, as soon as I launch the game, we do be beating me up. Yep, I probably deserve it. Subtitles? I sure hope they do. You're right though, we should turn that on. Um, let's see here. Um, did I miss the subtitles button? <laughs> Am I stupid? Oh, there it is. I got it. Okay, so actually, um... Yeah, relentless today. Remember when I was gonna talk about what we were gonna do today and everything, and then you guys just started beating me up instead? I remember that. What's up, Gracie? I'm playing a scary game, but they're just beating me up. Ah, I am. I'm getting destroyed. I am a tiny bit worried. Hi, Pixel. I'm a little bit worried that I might have to turn off VTuber Plus for this game. So if it lags, I'm gonna switch to VC face mode. For the time warp. I appreciate that. I really needed that actually. Well, uh, oh, the part of the beach ball is green screened. Lol. Let me turn off the chroma key. Yeah, hug. Thanks. Thank you. I got, I received the hug. Long peace. Long piece. Oh wait, no, it's line piece. Line piece. Line piece. All right, I'm gonna start the game now. I lowered the graphics a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I had it on for when I play um zombie game with Cobal Stromo. So that we can share each other's webcams to each other. There is dead gloss, but it's a channel points command, not a um, not a I'm word so command. I'm so glad okay. it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. So, I'm like told trying to pay sense. attention to the cutscene, and you guys are just beating me up. They actually have everyone they need, but my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no, no, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here, River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we it don't understand. It is what it is, Gracie. And we want comfort. I don't know. It could be... Someone we love. It, I mean, it just, no just focus. It, it, it's goes all right. Or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I 
wanted to give you this anyway. Oh, I get something. Here. It looks like... I, I don't know if I want that. Just what is take it? it, please. It should be yours anyway. What is it? It looks like... Well, Thanks. it looks like a cross, obviously, but... All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Thank you for the hot dog. Hot dog. Mmm, yummy protein. This game saves auto-magically. River Fields Mortuary. Or is it Mortuary? Oh. Sorry. That's from, uh... Right. Project Zomboid. I kind of want to replay the, uh... The thing with that off. Yeah, I'm just gonna redo that with that off. Sorry about that. I just trying to do too many things. Maybe this time we can actually get through the cutscene without throwing a bunch of objects at me? Oh, nope, it skips the cutscene. Well, whatever, it is what it is. It's fine, we'll just go along with it. Alright, here we go. Um... What to expect after death? That's kind of weird. A tiny coffee machine? I could use some coffee. Yeah, these are, the animations are kind of just okay. Um, a pencil? Access inventory and choose the item. Okay. Oh, right mouse button brings up items. That's interesting. I wonder if any of this stuff is necessary. A calculator. I don't think I can actually use it. And sign. Oh, am I supposed to sign this? Or sign... Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Sign what? Maybe I already signed it. There's lots of drawers here. Can I help you guys? Oh, I think that maybe later we can interact with this. Alright, let's just go in here. Oh, a bathroom. Oh, my plushie the toilet. An electrical panel. I have a feeling we'll need that later. This looks like chemicals or water. Um, that's kind of a weird picture. Oh, duh. Okay, I signed the thing. Let's open up these windows. Some air going in here. Rebecca, great, perfect timing. 
I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. Moving the deceased. Uh, use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key, then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Okay. Ugh. It's weird. This is bizarre. Oh no, we have to walk backwards while doing this! Uh, okay, we're gonna take a body out of cold storage. Takes a lot of mouse movement. Dude, feet- I wish somebody would jiggle my feet to base man. Feet jiggle physics? Hello? Kazu is raiding! What excellent timing! We are playing a horror game today, so if you are of a fragile or sensitive disposition, or disturbed by dead bodies, you might want to check out, but otherwise, I welcome you to hang out with me as we play this totally normal, um, doing stuff with dead people's bodies game. We gotta get this lovely woman back to the, to the, to the operating room. Oh, push. Katie, you want me to push the body into the storage room? Into the... Hold on. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I see. You hold the mouse button and you walk forward. There we go. Don't worry. I I did it. Let's get musty. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, Lily the Arts. You want to see it up close? Here I am. Wow. I have other camera views as well. So this is what I look like. I'm a dragon. Yay. I'm a dragon today, at least. Sometimes I'm other stuff. Excuse me. All right, okay. back to work. Dude, I love the feet jiggle physics. <laughs> All right, I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Um, hmm, inspect the body for identifying marks entered into the computer. Mix embalming fluid. Uh, make an incision in the carolid artery and jugular vein. Clamp tubing to both veins and connect to embalming pump engage pump and let the body drain remove tubes and close incision fill iv bag with cavity fluid insert does that say tracer into abdominal cavity and fill with cavity fluid clean embalming pump with cleaner uh okay let's take a look at this body here I'm glad that we get to do this with an open window. It's nice outside. Time to inspect the body. That's kind of weird. Spacebar is supposed to let me view the keyboard. Mild abrasion. They've got abrasions on the feet for some reason. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Yeah, that window just shut by itself while I'm inspecting the body of this creepy lady. 
But that's probably normal. That just happens sometimes. Kite music, hold on. There you go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Rotate. Rotate! Don't see anything weird except that they're dead. Like, look around a little bit. Ah! Something weird is here. Why does this lady have abrasions? Gooey! Rotate! Nothing. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on the leg. Can I look at the chest? What is that? I think that's just a mole. She's got um something going on with her head. Don't be weird. How do I investigate the face? Oh, like this. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. What happened to this lady? Was she attacked by a wild animal? <laughs> Hi, John Marchuary. Okay, now let's take a look here. Uh, Riverfields Network, enter Kadam Rare, click the right here. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. I thought I heard something weird. Okay, she was 87. Um. Okay, you have to click the number. I thought I would type it in, but I guess. I guess not. Beep! And then I get the printout! Yay! It's like working in an office! I'm not gonna probe any cats, Space Gen. Uh, embalming report. Riverfields Mortuary. A packet of mortuary paperwork. Hmm. Okie dokie. Oh, footsteps telling me where to go. Just like at my real job. You guys want me to probe Vi? Maybe if they agree to it. Time to embalm. Alright, we got the report. Now it's time to embalm this body. Alright. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Alright, I see. I'm an intern at this place. Um, let's see here. The clipboard says... Why are the jaw shut? Needle injector. Seems like I need some funny needles. Hmm... I've actually don't never seen a needle injector before. Wait, needle injector? <laughs> I sure hope it does. Cavity fluid. Um, these are all locked. So I got this is a needle injector. Okay. Oops. Eye caps? Oh, that's gross. Artery forceps. Trocar used for injecting cavity fluid directly into organs. Uh, an IV bag. Hmm. 
Okay. Setting the face. Fix the follow. Am I making cake? Kinda. Oh. Wait, how do you do that? Sorry, I'm just a little confused. This is probably going to take me a couple minutes. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. I can't hold anything else. Chicken Scratch is reading. Hello. Uh, what were you guys playing, Chicken Scratch? Also, did did Kazu get a shout out? Cause we got a raid from Kazu and from Chicken Scratch. Did any of my did my did we get them a shout out? Thank you guys so much for the raid. Take it up and press. I am. Oh, I see. Oh, that's weird. Ooh. Oh, that is disturbing. Bioshock? I sure hope it does. Oh, I don't, that makes me a little uncomfortable. I wonder if people who do this make yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. Maybe if I tell too many jokes, somebody will do that to my mouth. All right, what's next here? Clipboard. Insert the eye caps. Okay. Oh, that's weird. All right. Ugh, you'd have to touch their eyeballs to do this. That's grody. Ooh. What's this? Uh, what is this thing? I can't hold anything else. I had to put that on the ground. What the? Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Just what? keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Chemicals don't fly around. What? I can't hold anything else. Mixing the chemicals or making spaghetti. I have to make an incision in, uh, 
Well, let's see here. Need this stuff. Ooh! I'm missing something. I'm missing something. That's Grody! Alright, next. Engage pump. Ugh! Oh! Wow, that... That's gross. Disgusting. Oh, look at how it goes around their hand a little bit. I feel like it's done if the water is clear. Uh, next is turn off the pump, remove the tubes. Okay, I'll remove the tubes. And we'll just close up that little incision. Next is... Fill an empty IV bag with cavity fluid. Okay. Um, the cavity fluid is here. I don't have the IV bag. I think this is it. Thanks for the spaghetti sauce. You're welcome. It's mom's spaghetti. Uh, funny stuff. Pull in the bag. And Ooh. insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of a bombing fluid. Once that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the until the bag is empty. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh. 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 We got to find another sweet spot uh, to put the rest of the fluid in. There we go. All right, we we filled her up. Where? Is that it? Oh, maybe I'm like washing my hands. Flow clean. Oh, I see. We have to clean the thing. We have to clean the machine. And I guess it mixes with what's ever in there in order to get the rest of the cleaning material. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. That's not it. Uh, I think I've got the tank cleaner already. I think I already did it. So now... We pour this into the the pump. 
No, it's all clean. Or it will be soon. Yeah. John Mortuary here is, is probably going to give me a B minus. I'm sorry. Did my best, but I went to community college. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Apply moisturizer. Moisturizer? I'm an hour. Alright, we're just gonna... Whoa! Hey! Uh, lady? Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Her face went weird. Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. But that that moisturizer wasn't working very good. It must have been a cheap brand. But okay, I'll accept a good job. Good job well done. Yeah, that was not a moisturizer. It was moisturizant. It was it was right resident evil. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just no said offense to anybody in the building. industry, but imagine being Wait like, a I have another call, a kid, and being like, Hello? you know what I want to do? I want to oh, like hi, manage people's dead uh, bodies. Look, if I did anything wrong today, just no, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late. But I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. Mm, that's an old school CRT TV. So this must have been before widescreen televisions. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. Whoa, we get called in Bye. for the night shift. Holy shit, that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go, like, right now. I'll talk to you later. I hope this person, uh, whoever the main character is, gets full benefits. Uh, where are my keys? Hey, I live in an apartment. Donut stuff. Coffee bag. The TV is Sorny. It's a Sorny TV. <laughs> Sony at home be like, The nicest people are dead! Woo! Wait, this is a shirt. Oh, I thought these were books. That's a little weird. Music band shirt. Sports. <laughs> I kind of love it, actually. Death and Decay by C.C. Balin, and it's got art of mac and cheese. This is a book about death and decay. Um, okay. DJ Two DJ Two Shades is gonna play that one song. There's my keys. Wow, this person lives in a nice apartment. Little tea kettle. Toaster, tiny kitchen area. They have a magic mic, but no stove. So what do you do with a cutting board and a toast? Well, I guess they have a stove top, not... Okay, that's plausible. I'm just like, 
What are you gonna do with a cutting board and no oven? Why of in when the of out, you know? Luna bits and What does this say? Oh, this is toothpaste. When you live in a tiny studio apartment, so you keep the toothpaste on top of your tiny refrigerator. Yeah, the microwave is like for Hatuni sized people. Or maybe Mr. Bubbles. Oh, I guess I just teleport there. Naturally, it's raining. All right, I guess I'll head to the back and get started. Dude, it would be so creepy to work here at night. Did something happen? Hello? Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right oh, away. Oh, something weird happened. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. Uh oh. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. Okay. Well, they don't need anything here. Just making sure that my self looks normal. Uh, he said he left some things for me. An old key, the hall key, and a tape recorder. And a little shoebox. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Mushy mushy. All right, listen carefully. I'm uh, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Oh, okay. Uh. This is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. We gotta, we gotta clean up I some demons and assign them to the dead body. You have hours. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be okay. again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this in... happened. It's in the cabinet? This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. A needle injector? 
setting needles, chokar. They said the most important thing was in the cabinet. Oh, they mean this cabinet. This is probably what the old key is for. Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. Uh, what is it? Baleful reagent. Okay. I probably don't need that yet. Letting strip. A special piece of scripture with the ability to reveal demonic markings. When a demonic marking is near the parchment, it will smolder and combust, bringing the marking into the material world. Whoa. What the heck is this thing? Mini cassette tape. Uh, I need the. There's a lot of cassette tapes in here. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's Whoa, name. Whoa, this game's gonna get really cool. Second, the bottles on the top shelf. A special reagent that will react to the mark. Okay. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Oh. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. Oh. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Uh... Hold the letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. Okay. Demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you Hello, the sigils, gone to hometown. Use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. Mm. And use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. So there's different kinds of demons. The Uncover the sigils. Build the yeah, order. this is what happens when you die in phasmophobia. <laughs> Uh... At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The okay. further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Okay. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. So I guess if we run out of time, the demon possesses us. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. I hope you guys don't the mind that I'm, I'm going really methodically here with all the tapes and stuff. The tools used. And most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. The personal belongings drawer? The Book of Typhon? 
Typhon walked among his disciples, and he spoke, He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin, and does not serve uh, those who uh, can abandon God as he abandoned you, bring this through in your heart. I marked for the houses of hell. Mm. I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Pray as you wish, fall to your knees at this moment, and call to God perhaps today. He will step down from the heavens, and all doubt shall vanish. Huh. I've never heard of the Book of Typhon before. I wonder if this is uh, based on a real thing. It probably is. And Typhon extended the ashes of Derod to the hands of Oneron and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own, ignite its sin, and accept the true God. Gaming. Well, we've got our work cut out for us. This seems kind of complicated. To just grab a body and get started. Beep. Turbo. I press the computer and it goes beep. You know what? Screw this. I'm calling the police. No service. Um, he said that... Ugh, thought I heard a weird noise. Um, uh, he said there was a personal belongings thing, a uh, password. There it is. Wait, no, come back. No. This is gonna get scary really fast, I have a feeling. Okay, I think that I have to use the letting strip. Whoa! Up. Oh, I'm close. Don't tell me it's. Wow! That's a net. That that that's a mean symbol that we found. It looks like a spooky L. Uh, what does it say, Zed Gloss? I'm doing okay, Adam. This is a spooky game. We've got to do some stuff. I'm not round. Not today. You've locked me in here. You scared the shit out of me. you guys yeah I don't think there's a body in there there's a person hold on I have to pull the people out so we are on a time limit I think is how this works Oh, you guys killed me. Okay. Thank you. I deserved it, probably. All right, let's check you out. Is there a clipboard? At least I can keep track of things. Nothing weird here. Whoa! Something scary is going on. Oh! Oh! Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. How long I went to school? New career path. Fuck this. Fine. Maybe. No. It won't let me leave. Maybe. It's fine. The demon won't let me leave! 
No, I... I you're just... You're just... Just... Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm just saying things. I... Just need to get back to work. It's... It's fine. Okay. I guess I'm going back to work. Look at... Rotate. Nope. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. This is so stupid. I ain't afraid of no ghost. What is that? Looks like a really nasty mole. Oh. Um. His face got these weird marks on it. I don't know what that is. Some abrasions? Um, strange. Okay, I'll check the notepad. Uh, I might not have picked up the notepad correctly earlier. Where was it? This is the notepad, right? I can't pick it up. Maybe I need to pick it up from the other side. I, th I thought I picked it up earlier. The checklist is inside. Squish. Hemen Goimia? Hemen Goima? One, two, three, four. That seems right to me. Uh, he man, Gioma. Gioma? I need to file the copy up front. Okay. I guess I'm like him and he man, Gioma. Time to embalm. I'm still confused, like, because I can't pick up that notepad, or this one, or this one. I thought I got a notepad earlier, but I guess not. That's okay. That one I can't pick up either. I've got setting needles, a needle injector, a trocar, and a clipboard. And a cassette player. Oh, there it is. That looks like normal scribbles. So I'm probably still okay. Uh, I heard a strange noise like somebody's at the front door? That's kind of weird. Oh, we have to do this guy. I hate this part. It's so weird. Come on! Stupid face. 
We need some eye caps. Where are the eye caps? I can darken here. Ugh. Hello. Oh, this is something I need. Extra keys. Uh, do I need extra keys? Full access five five nine eight five. He was born in nineteen forty four. Mr. Delver is beginning to be a little old. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier. So there's a hatch outside I'm guessing I'll need later. Uh, this must be my ID. Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room. But he's so secretive, I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. Um, that doesn't look like... I don't know what that is. Looks like a brochure. Um, I need the eye stuff. Where's the eye stuff? Ooh, I'm definitely gonna need one of these. Where's the eye stuff? There it is! Okay. Now we can do the eyeballs. Alright. I hear knocking. Who's out there? This is in the 1990s? That makes sense. That would explain the Sorny TV. Um, mix the embalming fluid. You it? There's, there's, oh, I have to open it first. Okay, you Uh, not that. Um, this stuff. I think that uh, I need formaldehyde. Where is the formaldehyde? In here somewhere. Issue builder? No. Ah, here it is. Something bad's gonna happen when I start doing this. I, I just know it. Okay, uh, mix the embalming fluid, make an incision. I'm probably missing the tubing. This is tubing, right? Yeah. Uh, do I not have the scalpel? I might need the forceps. Uh, maybe I don't have forceps. Let me see here. Let's see, I've got uh, artery forceps, a chokar, and a scalpel, and the tubing. Uh, oh, I have to mix... Do I have to... I hear knocking. Okay, how do I mix it? Because I turned, I, I know I have it all in there. Reagent. Oh, I need a reagent. Um, I can't hold anything else. Is this really what I need? Okay, now we put the we gotta we gotta plug up the guy. Let's see here. Uh, he's all tubed up. 
Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. Ah! This noise is so grody. Yeah, if you are of sensitive disposition, this game might be a fit for you. Okay. Next, remove the tubes and close the incision. Uh, I don't want to get close to this guy. Fill an IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Um... I need to find the reservoir bags. I think they're here. And... Cavity fluid is right here. Okay. Not in front of my mac and cheese. What's up here, S? Oh my god. This is a really disturbing game. Oh, it's making me just a little uncomfortable. There we go. Gooey. Okay, we gotta make some tank cleaner. Something spooky's gonna happen over here, I know it. <laughs> Hello? Um, lady? A small photo? Front, 1970, the year of arrival of the House of Death, the birth of its creator. The full numbers shall be six. That's just what it says on the back. That's kind of weird. Anyways. Cleaner created. Um, I guess I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, this might be a clue to the demon's name or something. We have to learn the demon's name in order to banish it. And our, we do have a time limit. Oh yeah, that's... We're, we're getting... That's not a normal scribble. That looks like a... A thumb. It, it is Thumb, the Ancient One. I need the funny code. I'm cleaning the tank. Um, the code is 55985. So let's take a look at the demon stuff in here. Look at 55985. Enter. Oh, baby. Uh, this database is a collection of all my findings, the history of, demoni of, the, of the demonic and the tools I found, years of travel and piercing together. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. I better get paid a lot of money for this. Now I understand where you're coming from, Yo-Yo Boy. Oh my god, it, it is Netscape.
Um, the more events linked to a specific body, the more likely it is the chosen vessel. Sudden movements, repeat movements, is one body more active than others. When a demonic entity is present, the vessel it is occupying may form markings not previously observed. Inspecting a body additional times is important to spotting these. A body with a demonic inhabitants may display sudden movements. These movements can be as small as a twitch of the fingers or as large as full body manipulation. Alright. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. We're all zoomed in on the feet. Woo! There it is. Fuck. That's not supposed Fuck. to move. That was a really cool recording. Um, I want to go back. Hey, yo, he skipped leg like today. No F. Wait, what? What did I do? Look up? Oh, shit! Dude! Oh, my God! I. <laughs> I like how! I like how! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! Dude! I like how we're like, I'm like studying really hard, like, okay, demonology, like, alright, and, and the body might move a little bit, okay, 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 and then like, chat is all like, oh my god, oh my god, and I'm like, what? What did I do? What happened? And then, and, and then, <laughs> <laughs> Paris, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's okay. Yes, of course you can. I'll, and I heavily encourage the clips. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I feel a little sweaty now. My my nervous reaction is to laugh sometimes. Oh my god, that would make me so uncomfortable. Like, imagine you were like this this newbie mortuary's assistant person, and you're just like reading this computer, and it's raining and thundering, and then like that. And then that just starts happening. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. So our demon might be Varaketh. Or it might be Azel. Or it could be Meset. We need to un uncover more sigils. In close. Woo! There it is. Another spooky sigil. Is that what it was? A spiral? We've got like an L shape and... Ugh, we have to put the moisturizer on. Oh, 
All right. <sighs> I don't want to look at him. I want to. I want to wheel him away. How do I? The gurney. Ugh. There he goes. He died at the age of 53. I wonder what got him. Nicholas Michos. Let's see if we can find any more evil symbols. Um, possession seems to be low? Wait, what was that? Sometimes I hear a weird noise. Did I like blink and something scary happened? Did I just like ADD my way through a jump scare? Like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can find any more spooky stuff. Spooky stuff. Nothing in here. I wonder... I wonder if it can be outside. Or... Maybe it doesn't... Reveal them all. Maybe I need to do more body work. Yeah, I think that we have to do more work. So we put away Nicholas or Nick Nikos or whatever. Let's get Lamar Patrick out of storage. Hey, PRS, are you actually gone or are you just kind of gone? I, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't blame you for getting scared of this game, because that definitely got me a little bit. <laughs> definitely a little unsettling, but also I'm glad you're here. Oh my god, okay. Huh. Oh. Her. Let's get this guy. Check out those feet physics. Oh, the whole body kind of wobbles. Hmm. Um. Lamar Patrick. Well, you got uh some stuff going on there. Already died, see. What was that? What was that? It sounded like a dude far away talking? Nothing. Sometimes it sounds like there's a guy walking on the roof. There we go. My nerves are a little unsettled at the moment. This guy died at the age of 36. I wonder what got him. Contusion. Uh, keratosis? Kerat keratolysis? Uh... Looks like that's everything. Okay, I'll take the paperwork to the front room.
Uh, stupid printer. Imagine having to do this and then the printer was like a real life printer and it just didn't work. Okay, next. Why are the jaw shut? All right, here we go. We get to close this guy's mouth. I'm missing something. Uh, the wires? Let's see, I got this thing. Needle injector. Uh, oops. Am I missing the needles that go with it? Oh, yeah, these things. Okay. There we go. Man, this job had better have, like, full ben benefits, like dental, vision, uh, all, just all the stuff. There we go. Mouth closed. This is the dental benefits. <laughs> okay, now I need the eye stuff. Uh, the eye stuff is in here. Eye caps. And... All right. Hello! There was a lady outside! <gasps> okay. And now I need the embalming fluid. Emectant. Uh, that's not the right thing. Um, this stuff formaldehyde thanks for the follow uh glutel yeah you know whatever um uh, methanol which one is methanol again is this methanol no where's the methanol Um, Frick. Oh, here it is. Okay. Methanol. Something about flesh? Somebody's whispering about flesh in my ear? Oh. <gasps> And then I need the funny stuff. No spoilers, please. That's not a ghost sound. Guys are stupid. <laughs> that that did kind of scare me a little bit. Oh, thank the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the ghost. Okay. Now, uh, make an incision and get the stuff. Hello? Hello. Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? That was kind of weird. Um, make an incision in the carotid artery and the jugular vein with the scalpel. It seems like I need a new scalpel and stuff every time. I can't hold anything else. Oh, I need the stupid. Th I'm missing something. I need the funny thing. Need the need the funny thing. Uh, is it this thing? No. 
I need the forceps. Yes. Okay. Forceps. Then we're gonna pump them out. Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. It's like that, um, that song. Black Eyed Peas. Pump it! Can't sing the song because it's turbo copyrighted, but, but you know, pump it! Mmm, body juice. Spaghetti sauce! Okay, turn off the pump. Close the incision. Uh, twist it. Pull it. Pop it. Mm, empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Um, the reservoir bag is... There's a tubing. This is the reservoir bag. Here's the cavity fluid. And then we, uh, hook them in the stomach. Oh, the juice. Hello? There's a hand! Um. I'll, uh... I guess we're in here now. Oh, these are the scribbles I was making. A bucket. And... Okay. Okay. What are you doing here? Uh I can't hold anything else. Why am I in the bathroom? With all the doors closed? <laughs> oh! Oh my god. What was that? <laughs> Don't! Did you just... <laughs> you guys are trolls! <laughs> I thought that was the game! I read that as little gas in the booty. There we go. Okay. Um, now we gotta do some cleanup. We're gonna run out of flow clean. Oh no, never mind. There's a lot. I bet I can do the moisturizer while this is cleaning. Maybe? Nope, I have to wait. Hello? Okay, now we get to moisturize the face. Oh, gooey. Man, some someday it's gonna like snap open at me and go crazy. I know what's gonna happen. Ugh. Return the body. I do not want to be here by myself. 
Here we go. His whole body is wobbling. Ew. Okay, one more guy. But before we take care of the last guy, I'm gonna... Yeah, I knew it. There's a note. Whoa! On the ground. It's the letter E or the letter M. Some weirdo symbol. Oh my god. Alright. This one's a woman. Her feet are kind of discolored. Oh man, the way the body jiggles. Jiggly. My dead bodies don't jiggle jiggle. They, uh... Fold, and by fold I mean they'd st sit upright and then look at you and hope that you, um, get possessed. <laughs> okay. Uh... Blemishes? I wonder why the feet are blue. What? I can't... Question mark? Am I doing something wrong? Uh... uh hello? Okay. Oh, weird blemishes. Mm, more blemishes. Nothing on the back. Is there nothing on the face? Doesn't seem like it. What an uncomfortable looking woman. I'm having a brain fart again. I'm a little nervous. Just a little nervous. Um... Is this it? Beep! Cool, I get the report. Now we get to put this away. You know what my question is? Um, what happens if you burn the wrong body? Do you just get owned? The last symbol will be six. Or no, the full number. The full number will be six. So what does that mean? The full number will be six. Full number. Um, that's a weird scribble, but it doesn't really directly look like anything. Uh, 
Realistically, I don't think the incinerator could handle more than one body. Burning a human body is kind of hard. Please don't do anything weird. Uh, I do kind of think that we were right. Um, those of you who thought that the first body was the demon, I'm pretty sure it's the first body. Because none of the other bodies have given me any funny business. There we go. Um, mm, gotta put those eye caps on. Every time I look back at the body, I expect it to be doing something funny. Yeah, I'm gonna re-examine uh, our, our guy. Alright. And now we get to make the funny fluid. Not that. This one. What? Hello? Lady? Huh? <gasps> gotta go in there. Kind of weird. I miss you so much. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be here without you. Please, just... I love you. Uh. High risk? Do I... Okay, I guess I can't go in there yet. Oh, uh, this is my antidepressant? I can't actually pick it up though. Keys. Yeah, maybe it is nice of them. Uh, hello, horrible shadow creature. I guess I have no choice but to follow you. Oh, it's trying to show me my death. Thank you, horrible shadows. I'm sitting here holding your coin right now, wondering if I'll ever have one of my own. What would the point even be? Even if one day I'm sitting here holding my own, no matter how many years are printed on it, I would still always have yours in my other hand, never changing, stuck forever. It would always remind me of the life I cut short while I keep going. I can't imagine it. My dad's necklace. A five-year coin. My dad's sobriety coin. Oh. <laughs> ah! No! You should have died when you had the chance. Or we could just don't do that. 
Oh. Okay. That was weird. Yeah, no spoilers, please. It says it in the title and the tags. Uh, need methanol. Hey, the body is still here. Um, uh, here's the methanol. Back to work. It's becoming a shape. That's kind of strange. Okay, now I need some funny tube stuff. Here we go! We don't know to think so, Marisa! Okay, next, remove all the stuff. Okay. Um, empty reservoir bag. I forget where the, oh yeah, over here. And here's the cavity fluid. Is it? Or we can don't do that. Oh, uh, I'm not opening that window. Nope. Don't you love your grandma? No, no, I'm busy. I'm busy. Go, go away, lady. Like, get. It's so cold out here. What's it no, you're not my grandmama. No. No, no, no. Nope. You're not grandma. I'm, I'm, I'm working right now, grandma. You're only morticians. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's becoming a symbol. Uh-oh. I better hurry. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna look around for symbols one more time. Whoop! It appeared right here. Well, where is it? This is bad, because I don't know where it is, and I feel like I'm running out of time. Unless... Oh, okay. 
We've got that thing. All right, let's take a look at the symbols. We got this thing. Uh, um, there was one in here. So like an L with a dot. An L with a dot, that thing. It's like an evil J. Um, and a spiral sort of thing. So... Evil J... No. Uh, no. No. This one? Maybe this one? Okay, so my question is... I don't know if this is right, guys. Where have we... Did we for sure get this one? I feel like this is not 100%. That's the hallway floor. Why aren't you coming? Uh-oh. Things are getting weird. Oh, uh, yeah. That is the hallway floor. Okay. Rebecca. Rebecca. Bad, bad over there. Okay, now I, I did all this stuff. What do I do next? Rebecca. Can I help you? Ugh, that's stupid. Okay, uh... Oh, shit. I might be out of time, guys. Uh, oh, oh, I guess I'm outside now. Um, okay, gotta get back inside. Oh, uh, do I have to finish the, the person before I can get the... Burn the dude? Because I just want to put them away. Oh no. I don't think I need to know the name. I'm gonna try to hurry. Okay, okay. Uh, clean the. Uh, not the moisturizer. So, are you saying I have to do the whole process in order to use the gurney again? That makes sense, I guess. I'm gonna try to. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna burn that guy. We're gonna burn that guy. Come on, come on, come on! It has to be that guy. Oh. On. I need the name. Well, it's Sebos, right? He's so mad. 
I don't know what this means! I'm like so nervous right now. Grab the mark? I... Okay, I got it. Oh, that's the house! Is it? That doesn't look like any of the houses. Uh, was it Lamar or Nicholas? I think it was Nicholas, right? The old guy? Careful? Okay, am I missing a step? I have the mark on my person. Where do I put it? Oh. No, no, come back. Come back out. I didn't... Oh, shit. Well, I... I... Hmm... Um. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, no. Oh, he got sucked back in. I don't know. Quispy. Good morning. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Raymond? I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. Okay. It's a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. This is weird. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you? Oh, no. You didn't use the mark. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot. I'm so worthless. Watch your foolish boy and drink it as nuts from your pit of a friend. Oops. Oh wow, he died. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um There are five endings? Wow. Okay. That's the worst ending? Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering uh, if if it, if there's like any checkpoints or anything, but probably not to get the other endings. That's okay if there's not. Uh, maybe not today. But we could play it again, and I could try to do things differently. Yeah. 
think actually, uh, I just wanted to do a short stream today, so I think that's pretty good. Yeah, don't spoil, please. Just keep it to yourself, Gone to Hometown. Practice, practice the discipline of keeping it to yourself. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna like get some get some exercise and study some flight stuff. There's also a character project I need to work on, so. I think I'm going to call it here, and we're going to raid Mr. Bubbles. Okay, and, and then I'm going to do some stuff. Sea of Thieves? I don't think we're playing... Oh, he's playing Sea of Thieves, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. By the way, in case you didn't see, there is a brand new video on the YouTube channel... This is not a re-upload or a re-release. It's actually a brand new video. We played Madison and part two of our Madison playthrough came out and it's awesome. It's super funny and a little scary. Um, so check that out on the YouTube channel. And if you want to see me more often outside of streams, you can join the Discord server. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that just great? Isn't that super duper? Isn't that just...